Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sustainable Weight Loss Podcast. It is Brandon Wilkerson, your host. So excited you are here to just jump on in this summer as we continue our summer series around like how to truly really make this your healthiest summer yet. And again, these are just small snippet tips that I'm going to drop in your inbox or drop in your ear, I guess, each week to really just kind of support you in the summer, especially with whatever, whatever's happening in the world right now. <laughs> on today's topic, we're going to talk about is how to eat well and enjoy your favorite summer foods. So summer is usually a time, again, where we travel a little bit, where we let loose, where we really just try to enjoy, um, you know, our family a bit and enjoy life a little bit. We've worked hard. It's a downtime. But, you know, things might be a little different this summer. You might not be traveling as much because of, you know, what's going on in the world. But I still think it is a time to really enjoy some of your favorite summer foods, enjoy every aspect of the summer, but still you can really eat well. And so I'll talk a little bit with about some tips here, mention some free resources, and again, mention my um, membership that you can definitely join the waitlist for because the waitlist people are going to be the first to know when I do open up enrollment, private or public. So first, I think I mentioned this a little bit in the last podcast, but you must choose what you want your summer to be like. What I mean by that is what, what is your goal for particularly your nutrition this summer? I think there are three paths you can go down and I'm gonna share those three paths and talk a little bit about those. So how I typically um, go, this is what we typically do in our everyday life, but in the summer we might do it a little bit longer. So I love to kind of eat normally and then once a week we enjoy a treat. So usually it's Saturday night, it's our date night. Um, and we usually enjoy, like, if we really wanted burger and fries, that's the day we enjoy that. If we really wanted a brownie or cheesecake, that's the day we enjoy that. Um, but we try to have kind of like a normal eating routine. But then once a week at one meal, we really kind of um, allow ourselves to let loose a little bit. Main reason I do that is because I kind of know what food helps me and serves my body the most and what foods don't. And I don't want to feel bad throughout the week, like physically. Um, I want to get the most out of uh, my nutrition and my life and just feel energetic and feel awake and really allow my body to function the way it should. But, you know, say there's a vacation week, I'll let loose maybe a little every day. It's my vacation and I'm okay with enjoy using that week to enjoy those summer foods that I usually love. But then at the end of that, kind of going back to normal, right? So treating once a week or, or on your vacation week. And then that sort of kind of goes into the second path, and that's the 80-20 rule. And really ma mainly it's like you eat 80%, how do I, let's say five days, 80-20, anyways, 80% 80 of the time, and then maybe you're like the one whole day or two days on the weekend you let loose. It's really up to you, but it does depend on your goals, just knowing that the more often that you eat nutritious, whole foods is the more often that your body's gonna, um, really respond well to that nourishment, but it's actually the closer that you're gonna to get to whatever goal you have. If your goal is just to maintain your health, maintain your weight, um, maybe 80-20 is the way for you to go. But if it is to lose weight, maybe the treating once a week is the way to go, right? So it's just, you have to decide what your goal is for your nutrition this summer and your goal is for your health and which one of these paths can help you. And then the third is do a whole 30 or focus in actually. And again, for those that don't know what a whole, the whole 30 is, it's just an elimination diet where you're eliminating certain foods for a time to reset your body, reset your hormones, reset your sugar cravings, all of that, and allow your body to heal in a way um, through food. And um, I don't currently sell my six week program anymore. That's usually just a gift to um, actually to some of, sometimes to members of the academy or just uh, my one-on-one -on -one clients. But I do have a 40 day kind of email course that is free right now, that if you're like, I want to do the Whole30, sign up for that Whole30 e-course, and I'll link that all in here, and maybe that's what your focus is, and that's how you're going to eat well and enjoy your favorite foods this summer is, you're going to spend one month doing the Whole30, and then reintroducing, and then kind of maybe you do treat once a week, so maybe you're going to do all three paths in different orders, okay, so again, you, the first thing you need to do is like, what is your goal overall for your health, but what is your goal for you, your nutrition this summer? and then decide how you want to go about that goal. If your goal is to just kind of maintain and still enjoy those summer foods, maybe it's the 80-20 rule, eating 80% clean or nutritious most of the time and 20% not. 
maybe it's the it's maybe your, your goal is like I actually really want to maybe lose a little weight or just hone in a little bit more but also enjoy some of my favorite foods maybe it's treating once a week um, at one meal or you know using your vacation week for that but maybe your goal is like I actually wanted to really take the time to reset figure out what's going on with my body because there's a lot of things with my skin my digestive system my mood my mind and I'm thinking nutrition is part of it but I'm not sure which food item it is well then the whole 30 is for you right? Doing something like that or a reset. And again, you can, there's, I have tons of resources to help you, whichever path you take. So I have some recipes in my sustainable weight loss resource library. I have um, the busy people's guide to healthy eating on the go, which just has quick tips to make it easy for you. And of course I have the free resource, the whole 30 e-course. So I'll link all that in here, peruse as you want, but definitely download some of that stuff and go through it. Join us in my face, free Facebook group, Sustainable Weight Loss for Christian Women, and unpack it, okay? But again, if you're like, I need a little bit more higher level support, um, check out the Sustainable Weight Loss Academy. This is my coaching membership designed to really support women in ditching dieting, losing weight that lasts, and thriving in their life. And this summer, we are going through a bunch of stuff, such as your, your healthiest summer yet. Um, we're talking about, um, there's a meal planning masterclass in there with like 150 recipes. There's something we're going to start in August called Nourishing Your Body with Food, really honing in on how do we eat the most nutritious as possible. And so join the wait list for that. If you just go to um, the website for it, you'll be able to um, learn a little bit more and join the wait list. And again, remember, if I see that a lot of women are asking to join this summer, I will open up um, when I'm ready, when I'm out of the kind of the lull of having a baby, <laughs> I will uh, offer um, private enrollment for a small period. Um, but if you want to wait to the fall, still join the wait list. The more people that are on the wait list, the better that way I'll know that it's something people really want to do. Okay. And that is the way that I'm showing up for women in the summer. And other than one-on-one -on -one clients, like this is the best way to get support from me and from a group of women. Okay. So Hopefully this was helpful for you. Hopefully you're feeling encouraged and inspired to still eat well this summer, but enjoy your, your favorite summer foods and just know that it is your path. It is your choice, whatever goal you have for you, your health this summer and your nutrition, but you need to choose the path that is best for you and where you're at. And I would love to, whether it's my free resources or my academy, support you along the way. Okay, please rate and review and subscribe to this podcast. If you haven't yet, share it with a friend. Um, and just really, you know, let's share the love here. Um, but I hope to see you in some of this, the groups and stuff. And um, I'll see you in the next podcast episode.